I am Ra. Your spiritual ascension. Well, we finally have our connection. Rosalie, my partner, has been healing herself very well, well done, along with many other people as well as ourself. We are very grateful for this. Now to a, an important subject. Are you ready for your spiritual ascension? You are in charge totally. Self mastery. Number one, have you released your ego? For when you have, you become a part of the divine in the higher consciousness. This is a must. Number one. Number two, it is rebirth within. Within as you cleanse every part of your being, including your aura or anything of anything that is not positive or divine. This also is a must. The next is you shift to a higher plane, knowing, this is what happens, knowing your true soul purpose, as you are shining within pure, true love and wisdom. Do you feel this now? From your cleansing and your ego gone, this is what you feel. Feel within. Are you feeling this? Do you know your true soul purpose? And are you shining within this pure truth, your love and wisdom? Next, when there are ascension, symptoms that may cause a serious challenge. You may experience discomfort, psychological struggles and emotional turmoil. This happens. However, self-healing and breathing and meditation skills is all you need to overcome the discomfort. So don't resist, just carry on using the healing, the breathing, and of course the meditation is a must. So that's all as far as a list. I don't like using lists too much and I don't do like to keep it simple. So that's all for that. If you can just follow that a little, I do like to keep it simple. So, I am Ra, I know this sounds very simple. However, if you take each one I have shared with you and really absorb each step and follow through with it, it can be. This is a perfect time to keep rejuvenating and regenerating energies in the auric field. Now you might even just imagine the way you might fluff a pillow or shake something, shake the lint of a towel or something, kind of fluffing and waving motion going inside the aura. And there should be a nice little burst of energy, maybe some goosebumps or cellular sensation that is appropriate. Some kind of vigorous energy is very timely right now. You might laugh at this, but it does happen. It does rejuvenate and regenerate energies 
give it a try. Dear one, you have played the game of being masterful, one, and in control of your life and destiny. And you have also played at being the follower, taking the easy road and often allowing others to make your decisions and direct your life for you. This is a balancing lifetime for you, whereby you are remembering that you are a magnificent and mighty being of light. You are learning to balance the dynamic power you carry within with love and compassion for those around you who are not yet ready to awaken to their mastery. I am Ra. Deep within you, you are aware of how important it is for you to honour and integrate your feminine nature, the gentle, intuitive, creative and inward focused energies, as well as developing and using your masculine attributes also. Strive to be strong yet gentle, outward focused as you tap into your inner intuition. You now have greater and greater amounts of cosmic life force energy available to you. However, you are responsible for how you utilize that energy. You must stay firmly grounded to the earth as you reach higher and higher into the refined dimensions of expression and it is of vast importance to your physical well-being that you learn to balance and harmonize your personal energetic grid system called your auric field or body of light. One of your major tasks is to fill yourself with the unconditional love or your God self so that you will project balanced and harmonious energies instead of looking to others to give you a sense of self-worth or wholeness. You must learn to set boundaries as you lovingly begin to speak your truth and take back your personal power. You can only change yourself, but as you empower yourself, you begin to radiate a sense of peace, power and compassion. You will withdraw the energies of neediness and lack and those around you will either benefit and grow from the experience or they will find someone else to play the cosmic drama of life with them. Spirit is whispering to you and if you answer the call, magnificent vistas and opportunities beyond your wildest imagining will emerge and we will be there to guide and inspire you as always. It is time to fulfill the deepest yearnings of your heart as you reclaim that your self-mastery and become as the co-creator of the highest order on the physical plane of existence. I am Ra. You are being given an opportunity to integrate all the wondrous qualities of the 12 rays of God consciousness so that you may assume your rightful role as an earthly purveyor of love and light. You will then have the wisdom and abilities to assist others to move through the challenges of transformation. Each day endeavor to make the right highest choices and learn to stay in the moment for that is the only time you can access your God power. Do not dwell on the past, nor continually focus on the future, but always strive to achieve your highest potential in each and every moment. See the challenges in your life as opportunities as you learn to let go of old self-limiting ways. Remember, during these times of great change, you can make a difference. Allow your radiance to shine forth for all to see. 
Many such as you are experience a divine discontent, as well as many life changes at this time. Things that used to bring you pleasure no longer satisfy, and you may have lost any common interest with many of your friends. This is because your soul self is nudging you to move forward, to expand your vision, and to take control of your destiny. You are a co-creator, beloved, either of pain, suffering, and limitation, or of love, joy, peace, and abundance. The choice is yours. The diamond core God cell that is deep within your sacred heart center is now in the process of being activated more fully so that your radiance may pour forth out into the world to those who are receptive. Once you truly begin to align with the positive energies of your soul and God rays, your ambition, efficiency and practicality will assist you to make astounding progress. You have the tools and inward abilities to achieve anything you desire in this lifetime and beyond, dear one. Take your choice. See that what you choose extends to the ones with whom you come in contact. In their eyes you can see your reflection, and when you do, you are seeing all that you create in the image of that which is all one. You are that powerful. Remember that the next time you step up for what you believe in, know that your beliefs are the result of that which you see and feel and hear and hear. Know that your beliefs are ever changeable and easy into the flow of that changing world is to allow the flowing of the universal energy to guide you and from the advantage of the all-seeing and all-knowing you. Take yourself now into the world and see the here and the now of what you create. It is powerful and it is you. The sustaining aspect is known as divine love in manifestation, so much more and experienced as abundance in love and energy in all creation. So much more love in this divine expression that feeds the soul and adds to life creating a better life for all through us. And our gifts of love through the spirit, this is becoming and being Christ conscious or known as, to others as God consciousness. That you are the guardians of divine love as the light for this planet and all life upon it. All is light within, all life sacred in love. For you to now take up your task in creating a better world for all, starting within your own heart. We can then co-create together to make this gift of life to be lived in love that benefits all life. See the needs of others and nature and help. And in selflessness, know that we are the makings of a brighter future in our heart, thoughts, speech, and in our actions. We then no longer will live on the surface of the mind, but live from our very soul. I am Ra. This is the true combination, ready for a spiritual ascension. My love and blessings go with you all, and namaste. And thank you everyone for being here tonight, listening to Ra, and my love and blessings go with you all too. Namaste.